Well, when it comes to wearing a kippah in public as a public statement against anti-Semitism in Germany, one man has been long ahead of that trend. U.S.-born healing activist Terry Schwartzberg, who back in 2012 began wearing one out in the German streets as a form of experiment and protest. He speaks to us now from Munich. Terry, thanks very much for being with us. So let's start off. When you first heard this call by the official, no less than the official in charge of combating anti-Semitism, that maybe Jews shouldn't wear this out in public, what was your reaction? Indignation. It doesn't ex correspond to my experience at all. I've been wearing a kippah in public, so you can see some of them back here. You can't actually. 80 different ones for 2,367 days. I've been everywhere that Felix Klein, this commissioner, said we shouldn't go as Jews with kippot on. I've been there, nothing has happened. We are perfectly safe with kippot on in Germany, is my experience. But Terry, there was an incident in Berlin uh, just uh, last month, and there have been reports citing this rise of violent incidents, not just in Germany, it has to be said. I mean, is there not reason, perhaps that is hyperbole, for Jews in Germany to be concerned? Let's start off with a few facts. There are, as far as we can determine, 300,000 Jews in Germany. That's counting you Israeli tourists in Berlin, American IT executives. Last year, 62 Jews experienced some form of physical violence, whether they were scuffled with or hit, none seriously injured, thank God. Now, each of these incidents is distressing. Each incident of anti-Semitism is something horrible that has to be taken care of. I walk with these people, I talk to these people, I suffer with these people. But we have to put it in perspective. This makes Germany the safest country in the world, except of course for Israel, for Jews. It's much lower than the United States. 10 to 4, yes, excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, well, I just want to stop you there for a second, because if Germany, at least in your experience, and I'm happy to hear it, feels so safe for Jews, when you put that alongside some of the numbers, that's perhaps even more concerning, because Germany itself, the German government came out with a report recently saying that even though violent crime went down, that anti-Semitic crime went up about 20%. Yeah, I saw those figures, and they're very interesting because they include also distressing, like defacements of Holocaust memorials, like the Stolperstein, which happens every once in a while. This is a Stolperstein commemorating a Jewish Jewish victims, other victims of the Holocaust, and anything that's happened, any hate speech in the internet. You can inflate these figures by including that. But if you look exactly what Jews in Germany are experiencing, 300,000 Jews, only 62, and I say each of them is terrible, only 60 Jews, Jews experience anything physical. That meant 2,000, 299,000 other Jews live perfectly safely and peacefully in Germany. But there are certainly, Terry, you have to admit, a rising sort of anti-Jewish sentiment, at least, coming from both sides of the political spectrum, both by fundamentalist Muslims immigrating to the country and perhaps a resurgence of the more traditional anti-Semitism on the right. I don't agree. I think there's a hype. I think there's politicians are using fear-mongering for their own nefarious ends trying to gain support for anti-immigrant agendas, things like that. It's also become very fashionable to be against anti-Semitism. I would really welcome if these people were saying, okay, more, we should do more about anti-Semitism, would actually do something effective about it, like reaching out with more educational programs, but there the funding is a little bit lacking and things like that. As I say, 10 to 14 percent of all Germans are anti-Semitic. That's incredibly high. No German should be anti-Semitic, especially not since the Holocaust. Every single German who is anti-Semitic is, for me, an obscenity. But we have to say, if you look at the figures for America or France or the United Kingdom, this is the lowest percentage. And can I say something else? Sure. Real, real quick. Okay. That's only part of the story. I wish the other part of the story would be told. We have 165 Jewish congregations in Germany. That's a huge figure since the Holocaust. We have a Jewish cultural life that is rich. We have many Jews who have many friends, Jewish Christian dialogue societies. We have the world's largest culture of commemoration. Germany has done a lot to atone for the Holocaust and a lot to build up Jewish life in Germany. And most Jews feel very comfortable here, love being here, and love sharing with their neighbors. All right, Terry, thanks very much for being with us.